Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be sharing 10 cute and fun nail art designs that are easy to create just by using household items. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. For the first household item, we'll be using this steel wool pad, which is used for abrasively scrubbing pots and pans in the kitchen. To start off, I'll be painting my nail with two coats of white, and it's very important that you let your nail totally dry before moving on to the next step. The steel wool pad has a really interesting circular wavy pattern to it, so I thought this would be perfect for creating a marble-like effect. To do this, I'm applying a light gray polish to the steel wool, and then I'm gonna stipple that onto my nail. My white polish wasn't completely dry, so I did dig up the white in some parts, but it actually gave me a really cool effect, and once you apply top coat, it'll smooth everything out, and you're left with a marble-like finish. For the next design, I'll be starting with a sheer beige polish, applying two coats of this and letting it totally dry. Next, I'll be using one of these flosser toothpick tools. These are actually really handy for nail art and I actually use them all the time because they have this tiny flexible string, but you can also fold them out and they have a little pointy pick part, which is great for making dots and tiny details. For this design, I'll show you how to do a really simple dainty flower. First, I applied green polish to the string of the flosser, and then I laid that down on my nail to create two stems. Next, I'm gonna pull that pick part out of the flosser, and I'm gonna use this to create the flower buds on top of the stems. You can, of course, do your flowers any way you'd like, and you can use absolutely any color you'd prefer. Do you happen to have extra earplugs laying around your house? If you do, they actually work great as sponging tools because they're so bouncy. You can make a really cute cloud pattern using them. Let me show you how. So first I applied a layer of blue polish and I let that totally dry. Next, I'm gonna use a white polish and I'm gonna apply that just to the tip of the earplug and I'm using the rounded side. Then I just bounced that onto the nail to create little cloud shapes. And the beauty of clouds is that they're not all the same and the more imperfect, the better it looks. So just have fun with it. And I really liked this technique. I think I'm gonna use it again when I go to create clouds on my nails because this looks really effortless and I love it. You could also dip the earplug into two different colors to give the clouds a sort of sunset ombre effect. I can think of so many creative ways to use this technique. So I'm actually excited to play around with it. Moving on to the next nail, I'll be starting with a yellow base, and I did have to apply several coats of this yellow to get it totally opaque. But for this design, you can use any colors you want. I'll be using a very common household item for this look, and that is a paper clip. I'm sure everybody has one of these laying around, and they are so great and versatile for nail art. You've probably seen these used opened up and you can use the pointed side to create some details, but you can also use the curve of the paperclip for nail art as well. Let me show you. So I opened up the paperclip just a bit, but I kept it intact enough so there is still a curve on one side. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of black polish just to that curve portion. And I'm gonna use this to create spots on my nail, like a leopard print or cheetah-like pattern. You have to apply the paper clip in different angles on your nail to get a full print, but it's actually really simple and I found that the curve of the paper clip gave me a more realistic print. You could leave the pattern just like this, but I decided to fill in some of the spots with a little bit of brown to make it look more realistic. And I also added some brown dots and black dots inside the pattern to fill in the spaces. And that's it, finished with a top coat. I did a glossy top coat, but this pattern would also look super cute with a matte top coat as well. Okay, so this next one is a bit of a stretch, but it actually kind of worked. I started with a generous layer of white polish and then I'm gonna let it totally dry because next 
I'm gonna be using a butter knife to create a line down the center of my nail. Butter knives are perfectly straight, so I thought this, in theory, should work, right? So I applied the polish to the non-blade edge of the knife, and then I'm just gonna lay that down my nail. It was a little weird at first, but I found if I actually used one portion of the edge and just dotted that down the center, it actually did create a pretty straight line. I did put a little white polish on the butter knife and I used that to touch up the edge of the line to make it a little straighter. But I mean, if all else, this is a pretty good way to make a straight line guide in which you can go back over with a brush. If you've ever ordered DIY furniture off of Amazon or picked it up from Ikea, you'll know that they give you these little tools and pieces to create the furniture. And you often have extra pieces when you're done. And I always have these tiny little wooden dowels. So let me show you how you can actually use these to create nail art. These little wooden sticks have a perfect rounded edge that is great for making large flowers. For this design, I'm just gonna use white polish and I simply dotted the polish onto my nail in more of a circle shape. You can do as many flowers on your nail as you want. And then I'm gonna add a dot to the center and you have a really simple flower print. I love larger flowers, especially over a minimal sheer base color like I'm using here. For the next design, I'll be beginning with this really pretty purple light pink shade of polish and I applied two coats of this and I let it totally dry. But this is another one of those designs that you can use any colors you'd like. I'm gonna be bringing back our friendly flosser and for this design, I painted the flosser with a dark purple polish and then I'm gonna use that flexible string to create horizontal lines across my nail in a zebra print pattern. I really like how this creates this print because it's a little abstract, it's a little more rough around the edges and I kind of like that it's more realistic although it is pink and purple but hey a pink and purple zebra I'd love to see that anyway the flosser does a great job at creating these stripes you could also use it for tiger stripes I really like the flexibility of the string and how you can easily manipulate it and curve it around your nail Okay, so this next one might be my favorite of the bunch. Who knew that using a paper towel to apply glitter would look so great? So it makes sense. We use glitter polish on a sponge and the sponge absorbs the excess clear polish that it, the glitter is suspended in. Well, the paper towel basically does the same thing. So I applied glitter polish to a corner of a piece of paper towel, and I actually use this as an opportunity to clean off that gunky glitter that's like on the stem of the brush. And I applied that to the corner, and then I'm just going to stipple this onto my nail as I normally would. And the paper towel perfectly dispersed the glitter onto my nail. I'm actually shocked. It applied most of the glitter right to where I first applied it, right on the edge, and then it just slowly faded it up for an almost perfect glitter gradient. I love this. Be sure to apply at least two coats of top coat to this to make sure the glitter is fully encapsulated and you have a nice smooth surface. Remember those wooden dowels from earlier? I'm gonna show you another way to use those. For this design, I'm starting with that sheer beige polish. I'm applying two coats of that and letting it dry. Next, I'm gonna take one of those wooden dowels and I'm gonna dip it into some yellow polish this time. And then I'm going to apply that right to the center of my nail and you'll see it makes an almost perfect circle. Then I'm gonna use the tip of a paper clip and my flosser pick part and I'm gonna create a little smiley face on top of that yellow dot. And isn't this just so cute? I can see this manicure being done with all sorts of colors and even doing multiple smiley faces on one nail. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna be using one of these screws to create nail art. And I know what you're thinking, I bet you could do the same thing with a nail or even a toothpick, but honestly, these screws have such tiny points, they actually create amazing details. And the way that they're shaped, I find that the polish almost flows off of the tip like it's a pin. I used some white polish to create sort of a swirly print on my nail, but you could actually use these to create all sorts of fine detailed nail art. However, they aren't the most comfortable thing to hold, especially these screws, but try using different other types of nails that have really tiny points. You'll be surprised at how well they actually do nail art. So there you have 10 nail designs that are actually really cute using odd household items. 
To watch more cute polish videos like this, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. As always, thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.